So just to conclude a few slides to see what may be the future directions that we can take together uh, while dealing with this specific topic and work stream about radiology. We understood from the speakers that few studies are available in literature and we can contribute to this. And also a centralized systematic evaluation may be useful for these patients. And for sure we need to unite our different expertise to get better on the field and to share common protocols in order to better evaluate from a radiological point of view these patients. So aims for the future are uh, first of all to engage other radiologists or experts that may join this work stream in order to uh, get more expertise. This uh, sequence of presentation didn't have the aim to cover all the issues that radiology can deal with in uh, ear and cranial, and so we need other experts about different fields, for example, orodental anomalies, MRI in feeding, and uh, speech disorders, and so on. So uh, feel free to write us in order to get a, a greater group, a bigger group of experts, and maybe we can aim as a research uh, team uh, to collect uh, CTs and MRIs of patients with craniosynostosis in order to better study the temporal bone anomalies. These are our contacts, mine and the one from Renzo, and we hope you enjoy this educational session.